This is the story of Western Forest Products, one of British Columbia's leading forest companies. Proof, many kilometers of roads are built, road rugged enough to carry the huge logging trucks into the harvest site. Many of British Columbia's public highways were first built as private roads for forestry. Western Forest Products has built perhaps 5,000 kilometers of road, so employees and contractors can get to the harvest sites. Each tree is felled with care, care to land it where no one can be hurt, and in such a way as the wood in the tree isn't damaged. The yellow machine is the loader, the orange one the grapple yarder. These two machines work as a team. The grapple can reach out the length of a city block into a cut area without leaving the logging road. While the loader is loading logs onto trucks, the grapple is yarding in more trees, moving them across cut areas and up slopes to within reach of the loader. The trucks are twice as big as any truck allowed on public roads. Each carries 100 tons of logs, enough wood to make two average-sized homes. The trucks take the harvest to water, where an operator removes the load. Once in the water, the logs will be formed into a boom to be moved to a central collection point. Water is the way most harvested wood is transported. Back on land again, they'll be sorted. This place is a kind of clearinghouse called simply a log sort. Logs from several harvest sites are separated for size, species, and timber quality. Scalers at the log sort calculate how much wood is in each log. Their figures are used to gauge how much wood is available to Western Forest Products customers and how much stumpage is due. Stumpage is the fee each forest company pays the government for harvesting wood from land the government owns. Once sorted, the wood goes back into the water to be towed or barged to market, and often the market is a sawmill in Greater Vancouver. One Western customer, though, is Western's own pulp mill in Port Alice, poorer to communities around their harvest operations. Port Alice and Howe Sound are home to Western pulp mills, and timber is harvested in the Queen Charlotte's, on parts of the mainland, and on Vancouver Island. Tree farm licenses give a forest company security. The grandsons of these harvesters work for companies like Western Today because the companies have some assurance of a supply of raw material, wood. The first logging trucks in Port McNeil. A part of Western's corporate heritage is pioneer timber. After the war, forest workers used a spar and steam donkey to haul logs to the roadside. 